Yeah, today I spoke with a park ranger. You know, he said that Sandy Point here, the beach has reached capacity six times already this season. That's compared to three all of last season. You can see people are here now enjoying the day, so it's busy. That's all the more reason to go over safety measures with your family, especially children before you get in the water. My guys, I don't really let them go in the water past about like their ankles unless they have a life vest on. When they're a mom of five making sand castles at the beach or parents balancing a 10 and five year old ready to swim. We always keep one of us right now. My wife's getting food, but like we sort of switch depending upon how tired we are. The water is the place to be as temperatures heat up. At the same time, drowning rates are also up nationwide. Young children are most at risk. Don't assume that the lifeguard is always keeping an eye on them. The lifeguards are keeping an eye on the water in general. They're not going to always have an eye on your kids. Drownings can happen anywhere into anyone. Just Saturday, three people went missing in Baltimore while swimming in the Patapsco River off Port Covington Drive. 36-year-old Marquise Whitfield drowned. Park rangers say to always make a plan in case you get separated from your group. Take swimming lessons before testing the waters and wear a life jacket if needed. As a grandma, I come along, make sure there's enough hands. They have their water jackets on until they are good swimmers. Sandy Point lifeguards rescued 13 people last summer. They want to keep that number down and people safe this season. I would utilize the guarded areas um, if we have guards. Say, always safest to go where they are. Uh, know your limits. Don't try to go too far out if you're not confident. Never swim alone. Yep, and if you do plan to come out, expect crowds, especially on weekends. There's a lifeguard here at the South Beach every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. For now, live in Annapolis, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.